simple interest. So interest is money accumulated on top of money you have invested or borrowed. So it can either be a good thing or a bad thing. Let's have a look. There's a formula to work out simple interest and it's interest equals your principal amount or starting amount multiplied by the rate multiplied by the time period or the number of periods. So P is your starting amount. I is the interest. The R is the interest rate. And it has to be as a decimal, not a percentage. They usually get it as a percentage, but you have to express it as a decimal. And N is the number of time periods. It's important that R and N actually have to match each other in terms of the time period. So if your interest rate is per annum, so years, your time period's got to be in years as well. So this formula just finds interest, but if you needed the total amount earned, that would be your starting amount plus the interest. So we're A is going to be your total amount. So let's use these in some examples. So we want to calculate simple interest. Earned on investing $2,000 5% per annum for three years. So a good thing to do is to label everything we know or want to find. So we're after simple interest, so that means we need to find I. We're investing $2,000, that's our starting amount, so that we know P is equal to 2,000. Our interest rate is 5% per annum. So our interest rate, we have to change from a percentage by dividing it by 100. So we get 5, 100, and our time period is 3 years, so n is equal to 3. It's important to note that we have per annum, which is in years, and the time period is in years, so we never had to change these values because they do match. So we can use our formula to find simple interest, i equals p times r times n. Interest we want to find, we know the principal is equal to 2000. Our rate as a decimal is 5 over 100. And our time period is 3. You can put all that into the calculator and you'll get $300 of interest earned over those three years. If we wanted to graph this out, we could construct a little graph where our x axis we'll use as n for our time periods and our y-axis we'll use as i for the interest. Let's mark in some values. So 100, 200, 300, 400. Mark in some years. So interest is in dollars and time periods in years. Should note that. We've got one, two, three, four, five years. So we know at no years, we'll have no interest at the start, and we know after three years, we've got $300 of interest, which is going to be there. And simple interest just forms a straight line, so we can join those together and get our straight line graph. And we could use this to find other values. So at four years, it would match up to $400. So we could use that graph to find other interests for other time periods. Let's have a look at another example. So we've got you invest $3,000 for 18 months at 
3.5% interest per annum. And here we want to find the interest accumulated and the total amount that you'll have at the end. So it's important to note here that our rate and our time period don't match up the units because this one's per annum which is years and this is 18 months. So as long as we convert one of them to match with the other that will be fine. So we can convert 18 months by dividing it by 12 to give us years which will give us 1.5 years. So now we have everything matching up so we can go ahead and use our formula. So interest equals PRN so our interest is going to be the principal, the starting amount, which is 3,000, times our rate is a decimal, so 3.5 divided by 100, multiplied by our time period of 1.5 years. Putting that in the calculator is going to give us $157.50. So that's our interest term. To get our total amount, that's just going to be our principal plus our interest, so it's going to be 3000 plus $157.50 to give us a total amount of $3,157.50 by the end of 18 months. Let's look at another example. Let's say we invest $2,000 at 10% interest per annum for a certain time period. And this gives us $100 in interest. How long did we invest for? Okay. So we can use our simple interest formula, I equals PRN, and we want to put in everything we know. So this time we know the interest is earned was 100, so I is 100, our starting amount was 2000, our rate is 10% per annum, so we just convert that to a decimal by dividing it by 100 and this time we want to find our time period. So we do a little bit of calculation here. So we can do 100 equals 2000 times, well we can simplify 10 on 100 to 1 on 10. So 100 equals, we, now we can do 2,000 divided by 10, which is 200, and divide both sides by 200. So n is going to equal 0 0.5. And because our interest rate was in years, this gives us an answer in years. Or we could say it equals 6 months, half a year. Thank you.